Hey, what are you doing here? I'm sitting on the couch. I could see that. It's really you're not asleep. I waited up for you. For the first time in all these years. And the last time. Where are you in my life? Where you went, Arthur? Look, I'm a big man. I'm not going to give you on my whereabouts. I'm still your wife, and I want to know where you went. Just where I told you I was going. To play with some friends in a chess tournament. That's right. And chess takes time and concentration, and I sleep in You didn't go to play any chess. What? You went to Mayaro. <laughs> you are joking or what? You went to Mayaro with that dirty little hoe. I always thought you had a school loose. Arthur, I know for sure you were in Mayaro. Some liar must be telephone you a pack of lies and you believe it. You are a bold-faced liar. You mean you could look me in the face and tell me you didn't go to Mayaro with that dirty little... All right. If you say so, prove it. I can't stand it. Shirley and I were in the car when you and that girl were making love on the beach. When we came out of the car, you walked down the beach hand in hand. Oh, oh. you were the ones in the car. My wife and my daughter, like two crooks spying on me. You could have this answer if you want for the proof. I suspected all along, but I couldn't believe it. Yes, this is me. I won't lie. This is it. The last straw. I might as well start packing. You mean you're not sorry for what it is? Not one bit. And don't feel I'll come and beg you to take me back. I don't want you to come in any case. On second thought, I think I better leave in the morning. I won't be able to get a place tonight. I'm sure that little nastiness will take you in any time. Nastiness? Ha! Huh. That is woman to love. A woman full of life. She's warm and loving. She make me feel like a king. I am happy when I'm with her. But you? Yuck. What's wrong with me? You get me sick. It's better I married a frozen chicken. Everything is so old-fashioned and cold. As if it's a formal dinner. I never knew what loving was until I met Carol. My one regret is that I didn't meet her earlier in my life. Well, hurry up and go to her. What happened? You frightened the line of men waiting outside her room would be too long? Look, Catherine, watch what you say about her, right? Arthur, you won't be so mad as to lift your hand against me. If you don't want me to mash up your mouth for you, you better stop saying dirty things about Carol. She doesn't love you. She's only pretending so that she could get all your money. Hmm? And you're too stupid to see that. Look, Catherine, you're getting me mad. Stop this thing. You have changed. You were once a respectable, gentle person. Now you are a hooligan. Look, Catherine, we, we are two big, mature people who should be able to control ourselves. Yet, we get on like a young couple. You better stop this damn thing before one of us is in the mortuary. My God, help me. Look, I can't take any more of this. I go into my room and to hell with you. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Jill. Daddy, I want to ask you something. Do you find a meddling in the parents' business? Yeah, but one family. So it's your business as well. Daddy, you really need in mommy? Yes, sir. You sure this is what you want? Yes. This is the advice. Where are you going, Daddy? I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'll let you know. Daddy, I just want to tell you how thankful I am that you came up to Calabash early and asked me to come back in. Now that I look back, I'm not so sure that was the right thing. Maybe it may have been better to stay where you find real love. 
I don't think it was. Maybe infatuation. Well, you would know. But all I know is, when you stop loving, you stop living. Well, this is it. I may have to come back for a few things. Daddy, don't go, please. Shirley, you are not a baby anymore. But Daddy, I don't want you to go, please, stay. What I'm doing now, I should have done years ago. The house will be the same without you. Then you left. I miss you very much. But that did not stop me from living. You'll get used to it. It would be tough for both of us. No man in the house. Well, your mother may be may seem attractive in the eyes of another man. And um, what it was done, if you should change your mind about him, he may be glad to come here and live. That is all over for good. Well, this is it. Goodbye. Daddy, please don't go. Surely, don't cry. I'm not dead. You can leave me in the office. I'll be in touch with you. And tell your mother, thanks for setting me free. She's right there in the living room. Oh, she's waiting to see if I'll change my mind. I can't bear to see her leave her. <laughs> well, Catherine, I guess it wouldn't be right for me to leave without saying goodbye. And thanks for the good times we had together. Goodbye, Arthur. Bye, go. Yes. You mean you're not sorry for what you did? No. Where are you going to live, Arthur? I don't know. Arthur? Yes, Catherine. I forgive you even though you're not sorry. Thank you, Catherine. Arthur, please don't leave me. I must go. Arthur, please stay. I can't. <coughs> Goodbye, guys. <coughs> and that was it. I said that was it. End of story. What happened? You're deaf or something? Oh, you're vexed. All right. If you vex, I vex too. As I step down from the train, I'm there to meet me with my mama and papa. Down the lane I watch, and there runs Carol, hair of black and lips like feral. Ha ha ha! Very funny. <laughs> I know I'll get you to talk to me. I still vex. Why? You know why. I do. I told you time and time again not to leave your wife. I had to this time. I tell you when you leave for you'll have to leave me too. Never. You don't own me. I don't understand your type of reasoning. I could make love to you, but I mustn't leave my wife. Because it's your wife. Until death do us part and all that. That is the reason. To make love to somebody else is bad enough. But to leave your wife is the worst thing. It makes you feel like a guilty criminal. You sure she didn't beg you to stay? No. She was glad when I leave. She said she hoped she'll never see me again. You sure? Look, Carol, I'm a big man. I won't lie. I warn you. Daddy, dear, you're finished with your wife. You're finished with me too. Carol, my dearly beloved, don't raise your voice like that. You finish. You're not serious. You see any smile on my face? Carol, you can't do me that. I, you know how much I love you? Don't come with me, love talk. I don't want to hear you. What do you want me to do? What you should do, go back to your wife. No, never. She's a nice woman. All she needs is a little love and affection. I can't bring myself to love her. 
so you're not going back to your wife? No, and that is final. Be finished and that is final. Carol, put your hand in my pocket. I won't be so mad. I have something there for you. I want nothing from you, Mr. West. From me to you with love. I don't want anything from you, Mr. Wells. At least you could look at it. You're both stone papers. Nice of you, but I don't want it. So you really finish? I'll forget. This is the end, Carol? It is the end. Got it. Carol, you know what I feel to do? What? Just drive the car at terrific speed, smash it into a lamppost, and kill the both of us, and then the whole bill has to pay. You're going mad or what? You're behaving like a teenager in love for the first time. Atta, you're a big mature man. Carol, let's go someplace and talk it over. Please, Carol. It got nothing to talk over. Drop me here, please. All right, I'll drop you at the corner. No, drop me right here. But you'll have all the way to walk. You're dropping me on after ball for him. Okay, okay. If that's what you want. Thanks very much and goodbye, Mr. Well. Goodbye? I'll see you tomorrow at work. Go come to my department. Remember what happened the last time? I want to see you, Carol. You want my advice? Yes. Forget I ever existed. <laughs>